So Derek, you know, Derek, they talk about you getting a title shot, you start crashing other people's interviews. Are we getting, is this the ego coming through now? No, it's not, it's my city. So I should have knew that already. That's fair. Oh, that's a nice picture up there too. We got it there just for you. Mm -hmm. So what, is, is it official? Are you fighting in Ghana? Um, it's not really official yet, but I don't know. It seems like he still want to keep going back and forth with Jones. You know, he's just really trying to ignore me. That's what it seems like. But uh, hopefully it's official. You know? Are you in kind of a funny position, right? Because Dana's saying the sort of money that Jones wants, so you know where you can put your price tag out. Oh, to. yeah. So I appreciate Jones for doing all of that he's been doing, so I thank you. So, yes, um, I could take the minimum $8 million, you know. I'm not... Well, you're not greedy. No, not at all. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Would, uh, I think when Ngani won the title, he said that he was looking around August. Would that make sense to you? There's no, main, no uh, pay-per-view main event for that yet? Eight million? Shit, I could fight tonight for eight million, for sure. Is that the price tag? Have you told them that, that that's what you want? I told my manager, hey, I told him a price. And I said, don't call me if it ain't, and it, if it ain't around that price that I told you. Well, they're going to give Stipe the rematch now, because your price Stipe is... Stipe don't want the rematch. Why not? He said he's going to put on some weight and fight him again. No. Nah. <laughs> That's the thing about it. I'm trying to lose weight. You could be big as hell all you want. That don't mean you're going to win. You know, you got to be in good shape. You know, Stipe, he can stay the weight he's at right now, 35 or whatever, and keep, continue doing what he's doing. You know, um, he still got heavyweight power. So it doesn't matter if you're getting big or what. Um, just got to have the skill set. How, uh, how is your weight looking at the moment? How's the weight loss going? Oh, shit, I'm real obese right now. I'm 285 right now. So not good? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, when you fight uh, in Ghana, I feel like much of the storyline is going to be like, well, their first fight was not the best of the year. Um, in your mind, how come the second one will go different than the first? It have to go. It can't be any worse than it was, you know, so it have to be. Even if it's one punch extra in the last fight, it, it got to be better than it was. And I believe it is because we both improved in, in a, lot, a lot of areas than um, we was in the, um, the last fight we had. Cool. And last question from me. I think a lot of people look at you as like this really fun guy and like they, they love to watch you and stuff, but maybe they've never felt that you take the sport seriously. What would a heavyweight champion Derek Lewis look like? I don't know. That's crazy. You know, I'm married, so it wouldn't look too crazy, you know, if I'm a tramp. So... I don't know, it'd it just be a crazy experience. It'd be like a, a lifetime movie series, you know. It'd just be a, a real inspiration to a lot of people that have been in my situation, you know, and came up out of nothing and became heavyweight champion of the world. You know, that'd be crazy. Who plays you in the movie? Um, I believe John Travolta. Yeah. John Travolta? Yeah. I see it. Yeah, because he's bald now, so, you know. Who plays in Ghana? Oh, who's played Nagano? Um, Lisa Leslie. Right. Yeah. And last one, who's playing Dana? Who's playing Dana? Bruce Willis. Surely. Um, no, no, no. Um, what is that, Jenner? Bruce Jenner, yes. Thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, Derek, what'd you make of, uh, or I'm, I don't know if you heard it, but Dana White raised the performance bonus to 75000 for this fight. Have you heard that? Are you going to try and talk him into making that a permanent move? Man, that is, that is great. So hopefully it stays like that. You know, we got the money. You know, we got the money. They showed me the numbers, um, what we've been making. So we have the money, yeah. Was there any talks of getting you on this card? It feels like we're missing something without you fighting at Houston. Um, not at all. You know, um, I fought everyone, and the time, you know, it just wasn't, it wouldn't have been enough time for me to get ready or, or for my opponent to get ready. So it would have been awesome to be fighting here, though. Did you buy any stock of Endeavor? For sure. And I got rid of that um, the Dogecoin like three days ago. Then it went up. Um, two days ago, so it was like a panic sale. They said, don't panic sale, and I did it anyway. And now, it, shit, it's back down this morning, so that's fine. It's Elon Musk, he's just manipulating the market. Yeah, I know, I don't know why he's doing that. Just worry about your little Tesla, you know? Leave everything else alone, so keep your mouth shut. Fuck you. Yeah, they need to ban his Twitter account, fuck him. <laughs> Speaking on people that are actually obese, not like yourself, with your two-pack I've seen, it's really sexy and good, yeah, good on you. No homo. No homo. Um, 
is it how frustrating is this whole thing with with Francis and this whole him talking, keep talking about Jones? Because you obviously deserve to be up there towards the top and especially towards his belt thing. I know you like to joke around and kid about stuff, but how frustrating is this whole thing? Sort of sitting around waiting for your shot to come back to you. Um, it's really not frustrating at all. You know, I don't care. I want him to take all the time he can. You know, he want to show his belt around for his country. That's fine. You know, so you know, I'm here. Whenever he's ready, but if not, that's fine too. You know, if he want to fight Jones, he can fight Jones. I'll fight Stipe. Or if they want me to fight Jones, I'll fight Jones. You know, it doesn't matter. What did you think of his last performance? I haven't seen it because I didn't want to buy his pay-per-view. I didn't want to give him no money out of my pockets. You know, fuck Francis. It, I mean, not that I would ever suggest pirating or stealing, you know, heaven forbid. You know, those people burn and burn. Oh, Let those yeah, people stream. burn. But... No, I, mean, I wouldn't even that. stream. You know, if I get locked up, they lock me up for streaming Francis <laughs> Nagano fight. I don't and you miss like your a, shot? Yeah, I'll be like, fuck, man. You mean tell me I got locked up watching Francis Nagano fight? Uh. So in this in this move to get leaner and meaner and dropping weight, what's some of the biggest changes that you've done? I know everybody likes to joke, you know, and talk about how you mm -hmm. like the Popeye's chicken and all this other stuff. But what has been some of the biggest changes that you've done on your on your way going lighter and lighter? Um, I just stopped eating Popeyes, actually. I haven't ate Popeyes in probably like six months. Wow. And so that's... Have they been calling you? No, they haven't. Well, they ain't mad at you? No. <laughs> no. Very good. And, Where and your boy at? The blue shirt dude. He's outside. He's oh. out there working the crowd. We, we said we wanted you all to ourselves, and oh. we told him to stay out there. That's cool. That's cool. We were like, we got the first question, yo. <laughs> Um, just speaking, I guess, finally to Houston, uh, how well is Houston out there representing? I don't know if you've been here in the crowd. We had a good pop in Jacksonville for the last pay-per-view, but how well and how happy are you that this event's here in Houston and how well are the crowd representing themselves out there? Oh, I'm very proud of the crowd. You know, I'm happy that they even fighting in the stands right now. They made me proud. You know, <laughs> Some people might feel embarrassed. I oh, don't know. They make me look bad. But, no, I'm loving that. You know, I'm a street fighter, so I love the old, good old street fight. So they're showing me proud. And, and lastly, any new toys, any, any new cars, any new things that uh, we, we could find on Instagram or anything? No, actually, today was my grand opening for my own beauty salon. I opened another beauty salon today. For real? Um, beauty Marks, yes. Oh, I like it. Well, thank you. Where can, where can somebody find Beauty Marks? It's on 529, right next door to Langham Creek High School. I dig it. Can I, get my, can I get my wig busted there? Will, it, will you make me look good? Actually, I'm really jealous of you. You got a lot of hair. It, it's going I, I really don't like guys that got hair, you know? <laughs> Shit. I really don't like no guys that like hair. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> Is that why you don't like Francis Ngannou? That's one of the reasons. And, and also, he makes me look fat when I stand next to him. So fuck him. Fuck Francis. He needs some Popeyes. Is there is there a legitimate uh, you know beef there with you and Francis? It sounds like you're not a big fan of him. Uh, I really don't like none of the guys that I fight. None of the guys in my division. You know, just because the type of mindset I go into each and every fight. So it's like I don't want to be friends with none of them. So you know what it fuck them. You know. what, what's your take on on like the Ngannou Jones situation? As far as you know, it seems like that's the fight that a lot of people want to see. Um, and it isn't that they don't want to see you versus Francis again, but, you know, Ngannou versus Jones, it's like, you know, the heavyweight champ against the best lightweight heavyweight, light heavyweight of all time. I mean, do you even want to see that fight just as, as a fan? Uh, I'm not a fan, but who, I don't even give a damn. I don't care if they fight or not. So, you know, I, I don't care. And, and would you want to fight like a, someone like a John Jones? If, I mean, let's say that fight happens between him and Francis and, you know, you're the guy in line for, for a John Jones title defense, would, would you want to fight John Jones? Yes, yes, I would fight anyone. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. Jones never, or what have you. never. Um, were you, were you but one, one person that I really want to fight is Lauren Murphy. You don't really want to fight Lauren, Lauren Murphy, yes. That's like, your, that's like your buddy. No, but she's been talking a lot of crap. She's been talking a lot of crap because she's been winning by decision and I've been winning by finishes and stuff like that. So we've just been going back and forward in the gym about who's going to get the next finish. So she got to step her game up, but she's been talking a lot of crap in the gym. Yeah. Well, she's, she's up next. She has her, she's going to fight before you probably, right? She should have been fighting for the title. They, they screwing her, though. She should have been fighting for the title. She's on, what, four fight win streak? And all the other, all the other girls um, haven't been doing, 
have the same resume as she has. So she should have been fighting for the title. Just to follow up on Lauren Murphy, she tweeted out the other day that watching porn was an interesting way to cut weight. Have you seen Caitlin Shikagian's like tweets recently? Wait, what? <laughs> Murphy, she tweeted that watching porn was a good way to cut weight, mm -hmm. but she was talking about Caitlin Shikagian's liked tweets, which have been very graphic in nature. I wondered if you'd seen them. Who's, who's Shikagian or whatever? Who's that? She's a female fighter in the UFC. Uh, I don't know. So she been posting like she's been like. Well, I think her account's been hacked. To be fair, but she been it, posting naked pictures. No, it, she's been liking graphic. Oh, she been liking it. Or the person who's hacked her account's been liking it. Oh. Well, you know, I got some videos out there she can like. <laughs> mm. Derek, were you a pro wrestling fan growing up? I was a pro wrestling fan. Yes, and I like probably like in '06. I found out it wasn't real. So at, at first I used to think it was you know, real. You six, that's not that long ago. Yeah, I know. Well, shit. I thought it was real. Were you a fan of New Jack from ECW? Yes, yes. You know he passed away this weekend? No. Oh, yeah, he know. passed away. Do you remember hear that. Any, any shout out to, uh, to New Jack? Well, his condolences go out to his family, all his fans. You know, shit. It sucks. Like, them, all the guys in, um, in that entertainment industry, they really die young and they're sad and they really need to look into that and see what's going on. Thanks, man.